9th Anti-Aircraft Division, Wikipedia article audio. The 9th Anti-Aircraft Division was an air defense formation of the British Army during the middle years of the Second World War. It defended South Wales and the Severn Valley during the Blitz but only had a short career. The 9th Anti-Aircraft Division was one of five new divisions created on November 1, 1940 by Anti-Aircraft Command to control the expanding anti-aircraft defenses of the United Kingdom. The 8th and the 9th AA Divisions were formed by splitting off parts of 5th AA Division. The 9th AA Division took over responsibility for South Wales, Gloucestershire, and Herefordshire. The divisional headquarters was at Cardiff and the general officer commanding was Major General Douglas Page, Mick, who had been commander, Corps Royal Artillery, of Xi Corps. The division formed part of IAA Corps, which was created at the same time to cover southern England and Wales. The existing 45th AA Brigade continued to control the whole South Wales area and report to the 5th AA Division until the end of 1940 while the 9th AA Division and 61st AA Brigade HQs were being established 61st AA Brigade finally assumed responsibility at the beginning of February 1941. Of the formations and units assigned to the new division, a number had served with the British Expeditionary Force in the Battle of France and had been reformed and re-equipped in the Severn Valley in West Wales after the Dunkirk evacuation. The others were mainly Territorial Army's units formed locally just before the outbreak of war. At the time the 9th AA Division was created, the towns of South Wales, including important coal and oil port facilities, refineries, steelworks and ordnance factories, were under almost nightly air attack to which the AA defences replied as best they could. The division's fighting units, organised into three AA brigades, consisted of heavy and light gun units and searchlight units of the Royal Artillery. There were major concentrations of HAA guns in the gun defence areas at Cardiff and Swansea, La units were distributed to defend vulnerable points such as docks and Glasgow Royal Ordnance Factory, while the SL detachments were widely spread and crossed brigade boundaries. The 1st Searchlight Regiment was deployed under both the 45th AA Brigade and the 61st AA Brigade to complete the illuminated area in South Wales. The regiment assisted the AA guns of the Cardiff and Swansea GDAs, and night fighters of No. 10 Group RAF, while the SL detachments occasionally engaged the raiders directly with their light machine guns. Meanwhile, the 37th SLRGT and the 5th AA Brigade had one battery operating the Cardiff Newport Dazzle area. Others were at Hereford and Stonehouse, Gloucestershire, the latter also providing homing beacons for aircraft returning to RAF Cowern and RAF Moreton in March. The latter batteries reported enemy air activity as slight and small scale during the winter of 1940-41, with one significant raid on Cheltenham on December 11. There was enemy air activity over the Bristol Channel and South Wales coast on most nights, but usually these were reconnaissances or nuisance raids. Heavier raids began against Cardiff and Swansea in January and February, 1941. The Luftwaffe began a new tactic of hitting the same towns on successive nights in an attempt to put them completely out of action. Swansea was the first town so attacked. On the night of 19-20 February the building housing both the regimental HQ of the 79th HAARGT and the gun operations room of the 61st AA Brigade at Swansea was destroyed by a bomb during a heavy raid. Two officers and five other ranks were killed or died of wounds, but the guns continued firing under local control and communications were maintained. The Luftwaffe returned to continue the Swansea Blitz on the nights of 20-21 and 21-22 February. On the latter night, there was confusion between the sector operations room at RAF Pembry and the Swansea Gore, resulting in the gun ceasing fire between 2020 and 2110 but no night fighters arriving leaving the town centre unprotected. Although some raiders were shot down once the restriction was lifted, the centre of Swansea was devastated, and fires and delayed action bombs destroyed communications. The gore had to be temporarily relocated to Neath. By the end of February 1941, the HAA guns in the Cardiff and Swansea GDAs only numbered 52 and 18 out of a planned establishment of 64 and 36 respectively. These had been increased a month later to 56 and 36, though further additions to the establishment were already being called for. The position on La Gun sites was worse, only small numbers of Beaufort's 40mm guns were available at the start of the Blitz, 
and most lot attachments had to make do with LMGs. The division's composition during the Blitz was as follows. After a busy period for the AA defences of South Wales in early May 1941, the Blitz effectively ended in the middle of the month. Desultory raiding continued through June and July while the gaps in AA defences were filled as more equipment and units became available. Searchlights, now assisted by searchlight control radar, were reorganised, with a killer belt established between the Cardiff and Bristol GDAs to cooperate closely with RAF night fighters. The HAA and support units increasingly became mixed, indicating that women of the Auxiliary Territorial Service were fully integrated into them. At the same time, experienced units were posted away to train for service overseas. This led to a continual turnover of units, which accelerated in 1942 with the preparations for the invasion of North Africa and the need to transfer AA units to counter the Luftwaffe as Baedeker Blitz against largely unprotected towns in it and run daylight attacks against south coast towns. In June 1942, the 5th AA Brigade HQ was transferred to the 5th AA Division defending the south coast and was replaced by the 67th AA Brigade HQ from the 11th AA Division in the West Midlands. On July 27, 1942, the lights of the 37th SLRGT were engaged during a Baedeker raid on Cheltenham. During this period the division was composed as follows. 61st AA Brigade the increased sophistication of operations rooms and communications was reflected in the growth in support units, which attained the following organization by June 1942. The rail companies became part of the new Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers during 1942. A reorganization of AA Command in October 1942 saw the AA divisions disbanded and replaced by a smaller number of AA groups more closely aligned with the groups of RAF Fighter Command. The 9th AA Division re-merged with the 5th and the 8th AA Divisions into the 3rd AA Group based at Bristol and cooperating with No. 10 Group RAF. The following officer commanded 9th AA Division, 